learning outcomes after studying this module you shall be able to know the ethical business practices learn the unethical business practices in functional areas of business identify the efforts to curtail unethical business practices introduction before we learn what is unethical we must see what is ethical ethics is a term which is very difficult to describe and interpret even it is more difficult to make an appraisal different countries have different set of ethics ethics change from country to country while studying any country's ethics one should look at its past ethical trajectory as ethics is a dynamic term which keeps on changing from time to time in one scenario one decision can be ethical but same decision can be unethical at other point of time there are unethical decisions and unethical business practices hence there is a constant need of business ethics these days there are frequent examples of unethical business practices sometimes companies are involved in unethical practices knowingly and sometimes their act tends to become unethical due to change in circumstances now what are unethical business practices unethical business practices are those actions which are morally wrong and are against society individuals or any other organization these actions do not follow any ethical principle or professional ethics an ethical business practices reduce efficiency in a long run it increases transaction cost and moreover an ethical company loses trust of their stakeholders in long run which ultimately reduces profits all those firms which are involved in unethical businesses are known as unethical firms unethical behavior can be anything from insider trading financial frauds to using company's property for personal use or doing personal work in office hours according to fredman and fredman the global financial crisis would not have occurred if executives were truly ethical there is no question that lack of ethics played a significant role in meltdown a number of lessons can be learned from a financial meltdown the most important lesson however is that unethical behavior has consequences hog collected and studied data from us and taiwan to study consumer reactions on unethical behavior of websites according to hog data from the us and taiwan demonstrate that unethical behavior negatively affects consumers trust perception of fairness and commitment towards website as well as their intentions of continuing to patronize them now the question arises why people actually involve in unethical business practices fernando gives four reasons for ethical dilemmas and due to these ethical dilemmas individual tends to involve in unethical business practices these ethical dilemmas arise 
due to failure of personal character second conflict of personal values and organizational goals third organizational goals versus social values when there is a difference between organizational goals and social values there is always an ethical dilemma fourth hazardous but popular product situation becomes worse for multinational organizations because they have to work in many countries simultaneously these multinationals have to work with different economic systems different culture systems and different political systems and with different level of literacy and technology all this creates ethical challenges and sometimes give rise to unethical business practices now let's see why some firms are unethical in india any company is not unethical from its inception sometimes while doing business they are confronted with few challenges which force companies to choose an ethical path ghosh professor ghosh discusses these circumstances as follows the very first is bureaucratic structure in india bureaucratic pressure is too much this pressure hampers the progress of work and often works get delayed all this compels the organization to spend some money in form of bribe to forward their files even after liberalization corruption and bribery cannot be eliminated from our system when firms spend so much then they tend to adopt unethical path to earn higher profits next in order to survive competition companies involved in unsurplus activities and find unethical ways to go ahead of others this includes product adulteration forgery and low quality products also third absence of good strong corporate ethics policy a good strong corporate ethical policy plays an important role in establishing a good ethical environment in the company employees follow code of conduct and work within ethical policy a company not having a good ethical policy is more likely to un- act in unethical ways fourth absence of ethical leadership top management's commitment towards ethicality is a big motivating force for lower level employees to work ethically if leaders are ethically strong then they take ethically strong decisions absence of ethical leadership sometimes leads towards unethical practices if we compare indian culture with western culture then we finds out that indian culture is very rich 
Indian culture is based on high human values, holistic and socialistic pattern of society. Indian culture thinks of overall human development and with high moral values and spirituality. Simple living and high thinking is the motto of leading peaceful life. On the other hand, Western country is based on capitalistic model of economy which is based on profits. People are rational, calculative and materialistic. High living and simple thinking is the motto of life. They used to purchase raw material from cheapest market, then they manufacture and sell those products in dearest market to earn high level of profits. By this comparison of both the cultures, we see that Indian culture is far more rich and deep. But if we study minutely, then we find more unethical business practices in India. Now, various prevailing unethical business practices. The very first is sexual harassment at workplace. It includes request for sexual favors, sexual advances and request for dates, avoidable physical contacts, inappropriate promise of rewards in return of sexual favors and other verbal harassment of sexual nature. Sexual harassment is punishable act under Indian Penal Code. In 2013, a new act has been passed to protect women from sexual harassment that is the sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal act 2013 this is a parliamentary act applicable in whole of india that seeks to protect women from sexual harassment at their workplace Next practice is bonded labor and forced labor. In India, bonded labor was abolished in 1976, but still, bonded labor is prevalent in agriculture, forestry, fishing, domestic work, and cleaning. Even children are employed as bonded labor and forced labor. According to International Dalit Solidarity Network's article, Caste-Based Slavery in India. Child-bonded labor were employed in agriculture, brick cleans, stone quarries, carpet weaving, beery, cigarette rolling, rearing of silk cocoons, production of silk saris, production of silver jewelry, gem cutting, diamond cutting, manufacture of leather products, in circus, fisheries, shops and tailoring establishment and domestic works. Third is sweet shops. Sweet shops or sweet factory is workplace with very bad working conditions, low or irregular wages, long working hours and often dangerous work. Mostly unskilled children and women are found working in these sweet shops. They make garments for 
mostly international brands, toys and low quality consumer goods. As per Catholic Online in February 2015, hundreds of children workers were rescued from Bengal making industry in Hyderabad. Now, fourth unethical practice is discrimination. There are various types of discrimination prevalent in business world. This includes age discrimination, gender discrimination, racial discrimination and wage discrimination and minority discrimination. Discrimination is any form of unethical practice. Favoritism, casteism and nepotism are very much prevalent in Indian job market. This discrimination is not only at entry point of job but this is present at the time of promotion, bonus and transfers and job allocation also. Next, production and sale of hijadis, but popular product is also unethical business practice. There are lots of products which are harmful for consumption, but they are still produced and sold out in market. Cigarettes, other tobacco products, alcohol, beer and various drugs are few such products. Consumers are aware of their harmful and bad effects. Still, they consume these products. Secret smoking causes cancer. Drinking alcohol damages kidney and liver, causes accident and usage of drugs causes many mental and psychological disorders. On the other hand, if production and sale of such products are banned, then this will give rise to black market of these products. This will increase other unethical business practices like adulteration and profiteering. Is producing these products ethical? Do producers get rid of their responsibilities by just putting a warning on their packaging? Does the effect ineffective statutory warning given on the pack make the unethical business legitimized? All these questions are still to be answered. Next unethical practice is fraud. A fraud is an act of deception with intention of personal gain or to deceive another party. Fraud is deliberate misrepresentation of facts and figures. There are various types of fraud practiced by people. Money doubling scheme mobile phone fraud, email fraud, credit card fraud, chit fund schemes, telemarketing and phishing to acquire other person's sensitive information using username and password etc. are few of them. Next unethical practice is theft. Companies bear big financial losses due to theft of raw material, semi-finished goods, finished goods, supplies, scrap and waste materials. Often lower level employees, security guards, cleaners and drivers etc. are involved in these thefts. 
sometimes when goods are of high monetary value then big officials are also involved in thefts next unethical practices corruption corruption is a wrong use of one's power for personal gain absence of accountability social responsibility transparency and lack of proper control is the main cause of corruption out of 174 countries india ranks at 85 position in corruption perception index 2014 corruption is a worldwide problem corruption misallocates the resources to the well of people it is anti social activity corruption is a result of many factors lack of strict legal frameworks lack of social values lack of personal values and lack of ethical standards failures of institutional competence are the major contributors to corruption next unethical practice is digital piracy digital piracy is also an ethical practice digital piracy is act of illegally copying and selling video movies digital music computer software etc millions of people and companies have taken advantage of digital piracy there are lots of sites from where one can download free music and movies all this is giving rise to a parallel industry of digital piracy if this industry will flourish then why people will purchase original dvds for music and movie or computer software same content is available to users at free of cost or at very little cost then why will they purchase next bio piracy bio piracy is one such practice which can be unethical at times now what is bio piracy according to oxford dictionary bio piracy is the practice of commercially exploiting naturally occurring biochemical or genetical material especially by obtaining patents that restrict its future use while failing to pay their fair compensation to the community from which it originates patent of neem and turmeric for their medicinal properties is unethical as these two are being used in india from ancient times and both are part of indian culture next intellectual property issues these includes intellectual property issues that is patent infringement trademark infringement and copyright infringement all these are unethical in 1997 a texas based company rice tech got patent of indian basmati rice this was challenged by indian government in 
WTO conference at Seattle. After several discussions and review process, American Patent Office granted patent to Ristec. Ristec was granted patent only for three strains of rice, which was developed by the company. Next, using non-renewable natural resources for production. Excessive use of non-renewable resources by the company is unethical, as these resources belongs to future generations. If these are being exploited at an alarming rate, then one day there will be a situation when they will come to extinct minerals ores fossil fuels like coal natural gas and petroleum are few such non renewable resources next polluting nearby environment most of the times companies dump their toxic waste in nearby areas and thus pollutes water sand and air with harmful toxic substances sometimes companies used to cut trees acquire hectares of farming land at a very nominal price and establish their own factories these all are unethical practices now we will learn unethical business practices in functional areas of business subprime crisis of 2008 or satyam scandal of 2009 the main reasons of such a scandal is lack of transparency and accountability these two are very important words which should be followed by every organization in its all functional areas This section discusses the unethical practices in various functional areas of business. Now, unethical financial practices. Financial management deals with investment decisions, financing decisions and decisions regarding dividend payment. companies are involved in following unethical financial practices first companies are involved in creative accounting creative accounting presents financial data in such a way that it gives impression of company's good financial condition next sometimes share prices are raised artificially without any reason next companies officials are involved in insider trading which is unethical next mergers and acquisitions just to raise share price or to gain advantage of other companies goodwill next involvement in transfer pricing to evade taxes next loans are borrowed from those institutions which are ready to provide favors next creating subsidiaries and transferring assets on their name to create fake transactions or to avoid taxes all these practices are unethical business practices now let's see unethical practices in accounting 
basic unethical accounting practices are as follows first is not recording of cash receipts next misappropriation of cash payments next misappropriation of goods showing low sales showing theft and damages next manipulation of accounts through inflated price of assets deflated price of liabilities showing higher sales fictitious transaction and so on by doing all this we are involving in unethical accounting practices unethical practices in human resource management rampant unethical practices in human resource management are as under company follows discriminating policy regarding recruitment selection salary wage fixation job allocation promotion and transfer discrimination is done on the basis of caste gender and religion next providing very low wages and that too at a lack of 15 days is unethical companies do not provide safety and health benefits to workers next companies do not provide proper working conditions and sanitation facilities to workers employees are not informed about downsizing and they are retrenched from their jobs without proper notice privacy is not allowed to women workers forced labor and child labor are used by many firms sexual harassment prevails and no proper action is taken to punish the culprit delay in solving industrial dispute and conflicts is also an unethical practice next not providing proper compensation in the event of any accident occurring during working hours these all are practiced in human resource management as unethical business practices now let's see what are the unethical practices in marketing marketing starts with the inception of idea of a product development and ends with after sales services so at every step of marketing there are unethical practices involved these practices are first is product product should be healthy safe and harmless to consume but sometimes product is adulterated contaminated is of poor quality containing harmful substances as the case of nestle maggi which contains high level of lead which is harmful for children earlier few years back pesticides were found in coke and pepsi worms were found in cadbury chocolate milk was found contaminated and even mustard oil was also found contaminated all it is duty of manufacturer and marketer to provide harmless goods to consumers sometimes product is not reliable it means it does not serve the purpose for which it is produced sometimes product may be substandard which means any medicine showing 5 grams of particular salt but actually it contains only 3 mg of it sometimes product life is shorter than what is claimed this is also unethical 
sometimes product has unwanted side effects that they are not mentioned on the packaging example usage of particular medicine for long time affects kidney functioning but it is not mentioned on the product so all these are the unethical practices involved with the product next area is pricing there are various methods of price fixation for example penetration method fixing price too low next skimming policy fixing price too high manufacturers fix price to earn high profits as quickly as possible they don't fix price keeping in mind paying capacity of consumers high prices of products make the product unaffordable by common men sometimes price of product rise due to presence of middlemen manufacturers should fix the product price which is fair just and affordable packaging is the next area packaging is done in harmful products or bottles and containers which are not properly washed sometimes packaging does not provide essential information regarding date of manufacture expiry date and price etc all these practices are unethical advertising lucrative advertising featuring well established celebrities tries to mislead consumers advertisement for fairness creams beauty soaps slimming tea slimming belts hair oil and weight gain or weight loss product all claims big results this is unethical because no product can do wonders overnight surrogate advertising is used for alcohol products which creates negative impact on youngsters about the product and they are attracted towards it it's unethical other activities sharing and collecting individuals database without owner's permission and then making phone calls and emails to promote their product is unethical business practices now efforts to reduce unethical business practices efforts to reduce unethical business practices should start with national governments governments should enact strict laws regarding unethical practices there should be strict penalties for those who are involved in unethical practices like bribery insider trading cheating black marketing fraud profiteering tax evasion etc obeying laws will not solve the problem completely rather high ethical behavior is demanded from corporate sometimes corporate are fully complying the law still their business practices unethical in such a situation corporate house should see the greater societal interest and act accordingly employees should be aware of the consequences of their unethical conducts and strict disciplinary actions should be taken against them summary in this module you have learned what are unethical business practices various prevailing unethical business practices and unethical business practices in functional areas of business unethical business practices are those actions which are morally wrong and are against society individual or other organization in india due to bureaucratic structure stiff competition absence of good strong corporate ethical policy and absence of ethical leadership 
firms are engaged in unethical behavior. Indian culture is far more rich and deep, but if we study minutely, then we find more unethical business practices in India. Sexual harassment at workplace, bonded labor, forced labor, sweet shops, discrimination, production and sale of hazardous product, fraud, theft, corruption, digital piracy, biopiracy, intellectual property issues, use of non-renewable natural resources for production and polluting nearby environment, all are various prevailing unethical business practices. Due to lack of transparency and accountability, there are lots of unethical business practices in functional areas of business. Efforts to reduce unethical business practices should start with national governments. Governments should enact strict laws regarding unethical business practices. Employees should be aware of the consequences of their unethical conducts and strict disciplinary action should be taken against them.